Hi guys, I spent last night working on my Ender 3, fitted a replacement hot end, this one is a direct drive so the filament goes straight in here and gets pushed down into the hot end instead of to over there and round a Bowden tube to there, so I did that. And at the same time, I provided a double Z drive, which is fitting an extra stepper motor there and the uh, spiral on that side. So it duplicates the spiral on that side. You also fit a couple of top ends to it to align it all. Did all that took me quite a long time, put it together, did an initial test and when you tell it to move the Z drive it goes up and down and tell it to move the X it goes side to side and Y it goes backwards and forwards so all of that seemed right until I told it to auto home. Right. You need a free hand to do this. So what should happen, auto home, it should end up down on the bottom left uh, as the home position. What actually happens, go to prepare, hang on, come on, you get a bit of a double bounce when you press the button. Right, prepare. Go down to Auto Home, press the button. I have to be ready to switch it off. Right, goes across, goes back, and now it's driving in the wrong direction. That's going up. It should be going down and hitting that stop switch. And stopping. And it's not. It's going in the wrong direction. The Z drive is driving in the wrong direction. And it, I spent ages last night trying to think what was wrong with it. I know stepper motors. I know you can reverse a couple of the wires and it will drive in the opposite direction. And I got the original lead out and put a meter on it and tested it end to end. And then tested the new harness that's been provided and I'm right the out two wire outside two wires are the opposite way round so when they've made the harness I think what they've done is they've just flipped the wire over and got the plug the wrong way round so when you plug it in it's reversed you can't plug it in the wrong way because it's got guides on it so they've actually got the plug on on the wrong way round on the wire. So I think what I'm going to do is I should be able to just push a pin in there to release the little ratchet effect, pull the wire out and reverse it on the plug. I'll see if I can actually show you what I mean. I'll get a meter on it. And I've got my new park side from Lidl meter which if we touch it on the that setting touch it together oh. yeah right so that's continuity test so I can put a probe on the back of the plug here so we can actually access the contacts. I can't put it in the other side so it's this side or you can push it in the end but this side and the same at this end I can't push it in the back side I've got to push it in top side here to make contact so when I do it on this one and do it on the supplied harness I can't 
accidentally be pushing from the wrong side. You'll see what I mean when I do it. Let's switch that off anyway. Right, it's a bit hard to hold this all in place and do it. Right, so zoom in a bit. You see they've got little tags on there with a Z on them. And it's on, so we're facing there, the right hand side. So if I go on there and on, I have to go on there first, on there, on there, nothing. If I go on that one. Let's put the light on. There we go. That's a bit better. So, wire labelled Z is on the far right hand side. Wire labelled Z is on the far right hand side. So, if I go on there and on there, nothing. If I go on the far left hand side, on there we have continuity so the right hand one there goes to the left hand tag there this is on the cable that was on the original one that worked correctly so I go on the far right on there and the far left on there so right on there goes to left on there and if we go on the next one, which is actually there, so the next one in, so one, and then next one there. Right, so we're actually going far right goes to far left, and then the next right is the next right, the next right is the next right, and there. Now if I get the one, the harness supplied, Plug it from down here. Arrange it the same way. <laughs> so the outside two are the original cable, the inside two are the ones that's been supplied with the kit. And if I go on the far right, I need three hands. Far right, far right. And that's the opposite to the original cable. Far left, Far left. And if we go the next one in, so it's reversed. Everything's reversed. So if I undo all those tags, just pop them out, turn that round then everything will be right. I think they've put that plug on the wrong way round. 
it's as simple as that i think when they pushed it into the mold it's upside down or to be more exact they put the, the cable in upside down so if i get a little pin and carefully push those out i should be able to reverse all them and we should be right so with a pin We need to release the little ratchet effect. Yeah, I need to Do one at a time. And I can't even do it and let you see what I'm doing on the screen, but there's little metal tag flicks up to stop the uh, piece being pulled through, and you need to push it down to get it out the way so you can pull it. out like that right that's one out right i think we can see what i mean there there's a little barb on the back of the contact it's like a fishing hook and that's what catches on the plastic case So we need to push them back in. Now we can't just turn that over and push them in because those barbs will be in the wrong place. If you had a tool and you replaced that, that life would be a lot easier. But we now need to put the one that's on the far right. It's got to go on the far left. And that's holding in place. The next one is going to be there the next one be there and the last one give them a little tug make sure they're all that good so i've actually reversed all the wires on that plug if i had a tool to do it would have cut the plug off turned it over and would have achieved the same thing right so we'll put that back in the z socket Slack through, put that back on top temporarily. Switch it back on again. Turn it to auto home. And now we're going the right way. I was not very happy last night when I'd done all the changeover, fitted that, fitted that, and then thought, ah, oh, we'll test it. There we go, correct. What happened was it had just drive the wrong way, went right to the top and made horrible noises as the stepper motors were grinding against the stop and they couldn't go any further. Fixed it. Brilliant. 
Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.